What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about when you should let a woman do all the pursuing. All right, guys. Now, this when you let a woman do all the pursuing, I don't care if she's low interest. I don't care if she's medium interest. And I don't care if she's high interest. It comes a point to where a woman does all the pursuing. Now, here's the thing. By, you know, technical terms of the word, only a woman who's high interest you can let do all the pursuing, all right? A low interest woman, the attachment hasn't been built yet, all right? So that's when you wanna do it, guys, when the attachment has been built. And usually, guys, this is gonna take about two to three months, give or take, all right? It don't necessarily mean she's in love with you. She could be, but it don't necessarily mean she's in love with you. That means she's attached to you, all right? That means that you have got her intoxicated where she has a, a chemical release to where she needs to be with you, all right? And so what'll happen, guys, is she'll throw all logic out the window and she's totally emotional at this point, all right? So she's not really thinking straight, all right? And this is what you'll see a lot of times when a woman will be with a guy that's abusive or he's cheating on her and shit like that right there. Once that attachment has been built, guys, women don't think logical. They don't really think logical as is, but the little logic that they do have it completely goes out the fucking window. They already don't have a lot of logic as is, all right? But as with us, we, we are logical, but we are emotional too, but we are more logical than e emotional. With women, they're more emotional than logic, but they do have a little logic, all right? But when they get attached to a guy, they throw all that bullshit out the window, all right? And you know what, guys? You know, I don't really feel sorry for, you know, teaching you guys this shit because they make us do all the fucking pursuing at the beginning. All right. So that's why I don't really fucking feel sorry for teaching you guys this, you know, these this this technique and shit like this or whatever the case may be or lifestyle or whatever the case may be, because they make us be submissive and weak in the beginning by doing all the pursuing, if not most. Only the high interest women will do some of the pursuing. But most of the girls who have like media a low to media interest they'll make us do all the fucking pursuing and put us in a weak position and this that and the other and they pretty much have the mindset that if you don't call me we won't talk or we won't go out no more and so here we is being like the little bitch uh, she ain't called me so I guess I gotta call her and, you know and let's be honest we all feel kind of weak we take a girl out on Saturday and then we wait the fucking Tuesday or Wednesday she ain't call us but we gotta do the fucking pursuing or she don't uh, or we won't never see again or whatever the case may be. We all feel like a little weak bitch doing that shit, but we fucking do it, right? And so I have no qualms about making them do all the pursuing once we built the attachment, all right? So here's the thing, guys. Once a woman has built the attachment, and you'll pretty much know it, guys. She'll pretty much be calling and texting you a lot and stuff, checking on you throughout the day and shit like this here. So you'll pretty much know it, all right? And you slowly back off. So let's hypothetically say, I teach you guys a woman showing high interest or whatever the case may be, it's okay to go 50-50 with the communication, all right? So you do that, say a woman is showing high interest or whatever the case may be at the two or three week mark, and you're going 50-50, 50-50, then for long, you ease back a little bit, you go 40 to where she's doing 60%, then you 30 and she's doing 70%, and you will keep doing this, guys, till she's doing 100% of the pursuing all right now a reason why i want you guys to do this pursuing is weak submissive behavior all right which is good this is the state you want to keep your woman in she needs to look up to you all right pursuing we're not even gonna get into chasing that's just desperate all right we're just gonna stick to pursuing today all right but pursuing guys pursuing another human being for affection or dates and stuff like that it's weak and women put us in a weak position when we meet them they make us be the weak weaker uh sex by pursuing them all right so as soon as you can put a woman in her feminine state and in a submissive state by making her do all the pursuing, the better, guys. All right? I can't tell you guys when a woman is in a submissive state, the relationship or the dates or whatever the fuck you want to call it, the fucking is better. I'm telling you, when a woman is submissive, guys, this is how you get the sex that you fucking want. All right? This is how you get your dicks up. This is how you get your ass licked. This is how if you tell that bitch to go to the store and get you a fucking hamburger, this is how you do it, by keeping her in a weaker position, all right? This is how you keep her from shit testing you because essentially you're shit testing her, all right? So here's the thing, guys. It's very vital that once this attachment has been built, that if you don't let her do 100% of the pursuing, listen, 
I told you guys these bitches are crazy, all right? They ask for one thing, but then as soon as you give it to them, they start losing attraction. Essentially, by you making her do all the pursuing, essentially what you're saying is, I don't give a fucking damn, all right? That's what you want her to feel. You want her to feel like I don't give a damn, all right? That's going to keep her from shit testing you. When do you get shit tests, guys? You get shit tests primarily when you're showing a woman that you care. They should be called interest tests. That's what they should be called because that's when you fucking get them. You don't get them when you're acting like an asshole who don't give a fuck. You get shit tests when you show an interest. All right? The more interest you show, the more shit tests you get. That's the way it goes, guys, because essentially what a woman's trying to see is, is this motherfucker gotten booty, booty whipped yet? All right? So you want a woman to be doing most of the fucking pursuing. All right? Now, after the attachment has been built, very key, guys, very key after... The attachment has been built. Now, here's the thing, guys. At some point, the woman is going to start to notice, wait a minute. I do all the calling and all the chasing and all the pursuing. He don't do nothing. Now, ain't this funny? Because ain't this a female? Ain't you supposed to feel submissive? Then why the fuck do you make us feel submissive at the beginning of the relationship or the beginning of the courtship? Now you see how I feel? All right, don't it make you feel weak? So she feels weak and powerless because you're doing nothing, all right? Now remember guys, only after the attachment. Don't try this shit on the third weekend. AMS, fuck my shit up, man, this girl. I do, I listen to AMS, man, he don't fuck me up, man. After the attachment has been built, I don't, everybody's different. Some of you guys have that game and that charisma and that swagger. You might build that attachment in six weeks. Some of you guys might not build that attachment for six months. All right? So just make sure you know the attachment has been built. And you pretty much can tell the attachment has been built, guys, is you slowly back away. You don't go cold turkey. All right? You don't go cold turkey. So let's hypothetically say... She's showing high interest and you're doing 50 50. Say she initiate contact one day and you initiate contact one, the next day and she initiate contact and you initiate contact. You slowly back away. All right? You slowly. You don't just cut it off completely. Well, he said it's been eight weeks, so it's time for me to let her do all the. No! You slowly back away. So now maybe she hits you on Monday. Good morning. How's your day going? Such and such. You hit her up Tuesday, she hit you up Wednesday, you don't hit her up Thursday. Matter of fact, you wait till she hits you back again. All right? So you wait till she hits you up two times. And then you'll hit her up again. For long, you let her initiate contact three times. But before long, she look up, you ain't doing shit. All right, guys? So that's how that go. It's not about fucking going cold turkey. It's about fucking backing away slowly. All right, now here's the thing, guys. She's going to catch on, and she's going to test you on it, all right? And she's going to bring it to you. She might even be able, be willing to walk away. Here's the thing. If you generally don't really give a fuck, if you generally haven't built that abundance mindset, you can't pass this shit test. You know what you're going to be doing? You're going to be sending me a fucking email, bitching and complaining, that you built the attachment and now the girl ain't contact you in two weeks. Guys, you're going to get this. I'm telling you this shit right now, guys. If you build a fucking attachment and you let a woman do 100% of the pursuing, eventually she's going to disappear for a week or two. All right? Because you ain't doing a pursuing. She's going to say to herself, well, he ain't calling me. I ain't going to call him, call him. But the attachment has been built, guys. You sit back and set your watch on it just a matter of time before she call you back. I promise you, once the attachment has been built, Watch what she do. Now, guys, you really got to pay attention to this attachment now. I don't want you guys to go fuck up a good thing and not knowing when the attachment is, has been built. All right? You should be able to tell the way she's sucking your dick. You should be able to tell the way when she's with you, she's kind of all over you. You should be able to tell that she, like, even if you text her in the morning, good morning, have a productive day, she'll text you back two more times that day. Like, you, it's certain little things a woman to do. She'll call you on the phone and she, like, she'll FaceTime you and she'll be smiling. Like, she's just so happy to see you, all right? You need to pay attention to when this attachment been built, all right? So, make sure, that's very key, because I don't want you guys to go fuck some shit up. Now, here's the thing. If you don't let it get to a point to where a woman is doing all the pursuing, you can fuck it up, all right? Because you're not keeping her submissive, all 
All right, you want to keep a woman submissive. You want her to keep looking at you as you're higher value than her. You want her to feel like she's lucky to be with you, not you lucky to be with her. All right, that's how you keep women engaged, guys. All right, when you ain't calling stuff like this, she's constantly wondering, are you losing attraction? This causes her to engage in her emotions. This is what causes her to have deeper fucking feelings, guys. All right, so that's the bottom fucking line. And like I told you guys, it's not that she's in love with you. She's in love with the feeling you give her. She's in love with that turmoil. She's in love with all that chaos you cause in her life, all right? That you're difficult, that things just don't go according to plan. This is why women don't like uh, nice guys, because it's smooth sailing with them. It's no, no ripples in the waves. It's nothing going on. It's always the same. It's no conflict. With this asshole here, he constantly calls me to engage my feelings. He ain't calling me. Is he fucking somebody else? What's going on? Is he want to break up with me? This is what women need. They need this tension. All right? I know you guys, y'all watch the movies and y'all see the guy that walk down the street holding hands with a girl with a flower in his goddamn hair and, and y'all think like this is how the relationship supposed to be. But in real world, when you try to do that shit with a woman, she get bored of your ass. That's the bottom fucking line. And for a lot of you guys that get disappeared on, this is why your ass get disappeared on. Because the woman don't have no chaos. Everything is normal. All right? You don't know how to disappear for two days. All right? You don't know how to cause chaos. You don't know how to make her think. You don't know how to make her engage her emotions. This is what causes women to de uh, get these deep feelings for you. All right? But it's not even about you. It's about the feeling you give her. All right, guys? So you need to understand that. And when she comes to the, give you that ultimatum where she's willing to walk away, you have to be a fucking man and stand your ground and don't be blowing my fucking email box up crying and bitching about the girl, she, you, she, you let her do all the pursuing and now she ain't talking to you. Guys, just give it time. If the attachment been built, she'll be called. Now, here's the thing. Anytime a girl leave you for any reason, break up with you, or she mad because you don't call her, you never take her back. She disappeared for two weeks, you let her know. I don't like the fact that you disappeared for those two weeks. How you wouldn't make that up to me? This is going to make her most submissive. And what y'all guys don't understand is this is what a woman wants. She want a man that can make her sit, submit. All right? So when she disappear like that, and when she do come around and tell me something, well, you never called me. We don't worry about that right now. How you going to make this up to me? You disappeared for two weeks. How you going to make? Y'all already know what time it is. She got to suck a whole lot of dick. Don't never just take a girl back for when she's displayed bad behavior. Never take her back. Because what ends up happening, guys, is she'll pull this same stunt in a month. All right? She'll try it again. You ain't calling her in a month. Her ass done disappeared again. Well, when your ass disappear again, she going to have dick in her mouth nightmares. Because she going to remember you had your dick in her mouth the whole fucking weekend. Fucking bitch had tonsils need taken out and everything by the time she got through sucking your dick. All right? That's what you need her to know. You need her to know that it's going to be some consequence. So when you run your ass off like you're a runaway slave and shit, when, when the slaves ran away, they ain't just take, oh, just come on back. Don't worry about it. We don't worry about you ran away. I don't worry about it. Just, I don't worry about it. Go in there and take a nap. Hell no. You're going to get your ass whipped. Make your ass remember. This is what happened when your ass run away. All right? You ain't seen no move on slave move where they just take the slave back. Oh, just come on back, George. We don't worry about it. We know it get tough out here, get a little hot sometimes in the cotton field, man. Ah, oh, we ain't gonna worry about it. Just go on in there and take a nap. We ain't gonna worry. We ain't gonna charge this one to the game. Don't worry about it. Hell no. You get your ass whipped as a reminder not to run your ass away again. And it's the same way you have to treat women. When they run their ass away, when they call themselves trying to test you with strength and shit like this, you don't never just take these bitches back. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I see, I think a lot of you guys think I can start making girls lick my ass just because I'm some sick pervert. No, 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 no. Stop making them lick my ass because I know women are trying to pull that same shit again. Whatever they licking my ass for. And so the point of me is, I want you to, every time you think of doing that, the sweet taste of ass into your mouth. And you know, I don't want to do that no more. So I better behave. You got damn right. So this is the thing, guys. When she do that, and she will gonna test you like that if you're not calling, she is gonna run away for two weeks, three weeks. Just make sure she's punished when she get back, guys. That's the bottom fucking line. But guys, yeah, that's the bottom line. What I want to talk about in this video. At once the attachment has been built, you let a woman do all the pursuing. 
All right, high interest or not, and, and technically it can only be high interest, right? Because if the attachment has been built, obviously you know the attachment has been built because she's been displaying high interest. So you already know low interest. This don't that don't even make sense. So you know this got to be a high interest woman, right? So. And even if she wasn't high interest initially, she's high interest now, all right? And so you slowly back away and you let her do all the pursuing. I am telling you right now, at some point, she's going to shit test you. At some point, her ass going to run away, all right? Her ass going to run away for a week or two because you ain't calling her. You stand your fucking ground and make sure that you get her goddamn knee pads ready for you, for her when she come back. Because she will come back. Give it two weeks. She'll be back and make sure you know. Make sure you let her know how you wouldn't make that up to me. That's how you handle that, guys. And that's going to actually make her fall more deep into attraction because you're so masculine. You have such an abundance mindset. You didn't pursue her when she ran her ass away like a goddamn slave. And now she's coming back and you ain't going to just take her back like, oh, you can just run away and go fuck the alpha for two weeks and just come on back here anytime you get ready. Oh, no, bitch. Fuck no. More than likely when she ran her ass away, she probably started lining up some replacements. That shit didn't work out. Or he's such a beta simp that now she missed the alpha male and shit like that. So now she want to run her ass back home. She ain't just ran her ass away for nothing. She lined some shit up. That motherfucker probably was too weak. And she realized that your masculine ass is where she want to be at. And so now she thinks she going to have to go fucking that motherfucker two weeks. She's going to run her ass back over here and, and lay her little funk ass in bed like everything. All right. Oh, no. Uh-uh. We don't play that shit over here. Alpha male scratches, baby. You're going to have to suck some dick. A whole lot of dick. All right, guys. That's the bottom line on that. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holla back.